Hello everyone, it's Shamila again here and um, I've been asked to do a little tutorial on the mini album that we did at National Scrapbook Day and I thought I'll just show you how I put my album together. The original concept is not my own. It is from a UK um, YouTuber. Her name is Claire, I think. And I think... Uh, a YouTube name is my creative spirit so if you search for her on YouTube you'll you'll be able to watch some of her videos okay so basically what you will need is um, two chip wood pieces mine is about six and a quarter by six and a quarter so it's just slightly bigger than than six inches just so that my cover is bigger than um, bigger than my actual pages just want to see if I'm in shot and then the spine is I think it's two and a half let me just grab a ruler to measure quickly sorry one sicky okay yeah the spine is two and a half inches so this is a very quick and easy way of putting together a mini album um, and if you watch the video of my uh, breakfast at Tiffany album you would have seen that I mentioned that the album went from table to table throughout the day and it was still in fairly good nick. Now the papers that I have is not exactly to size um, as the one that we had. The papers for our Tiffany pages were six and a half by six inches and the reason for that is you actually going to score and I'm going to just show you how I score so this should be six and a half minus six but this is an off cut that I've got here so you score on the on the half inch line and then if you've never heard this before and I know I repeat myself all the time um, when you look at your score let me just see if I'm in shot. If you look at your score line, the ear, the side that you actually scored will have a dent. And then on the flip side, there's almost like a little bubble. And that's the side that you fold your card towards. So you fold it towards the bubble. You give it a good burnishing so that it is nice and flat to make sure that your, um, your pages in your album is going to lie flat. And I only use the red liner tape to um, adhere my pages into my album. So you apply your tape and you do this five times because you need five pages. The spine allows for five pages. And the reason why I have a half inch gap or score line on my pages is that this half inch gives me the space to add pockets it gives me that depth so that your your album doesn't gape and always burnish your your double-sided tape or your red tape well onto your um, card so that you're making a good connection so i've got i've done four already i've got five pages there right and now this is your cover and your spine what I usually do to make sure that everything is in line is I hold it together like that just to make sure that they're all the same size there's no discrepancies the one isn't a little bit longer than the other one because if that is the case then your album's going to be a little bit skew what I use to assemble my album is um, our book binding or construction tape it's, it's a fabric kind of tape it's beautiful it makes it finishes off so nicely and I sell it in a 24 mil which is this one we do have a 48 mil and I also do it in a 120 mil and the reason why I have the big one is if you want to do a one step construction you open up your um, your tape place your spine in the middle and you align your your two pages on either side and you've got a one-step process to um, put your covers together if you're starting out it's a lot easier to work with the 24 mil 
um, simply because this is a very sticky tape um, it makes it a little bit easier to work with so what we're going to do is we're going to cover the three sides of um, of the covers with the with the tape and you know I think the ladies were so surprised last week when they saw how easy it was to actually assemble so I'm going to try and do it I normally stand when I craft so I'm going to try and sit and do this um, and hope my eyeball is is good okay so we've got the one side you turn it and you just carry straight on try and keep this in the middle so you've got an even side the tape even on either side and then I'm gonna cut it off here and like I said this tape is really sticky so when you're cutting it use the I just need to check if I'm in shot quickly to show you just open the mouth of your scissor quite wide and just snip because if you if you use the in oh shucks I cut it too short never mind um, this is a very forgiving process it will work I'm not going to edit that out you can see I'm human <laughs> okay so once you've got that what we're going to do next is I'm just going to come up here we're going to snip into the corners so just want to make sure I'm in shot it's very difficult to do this actually I don't know how they do it to do this and to actually see what you're doing okay so now I'm going to press that flat and I'm going to do the same on the other side and then on this end let me just see where we are okay I'm going to mitre that corner there and I'm going to might do the other corner as well okay now before we actually put that side down we're going to snip into the other side as well so we've got two snips there and now you can push that down turn it around push the other side down this is a very forgiving process if you make a mistake and I'll show you you can actually just lift this and re, re, um, re stick it so I'm going to mitre that side now and that side and we can push that down Let's see if I'm in shot Okay, so we've got the one side done and if you've got little bits of the white showing here you can always just add some um, some paint or some ink to it and it just covers beautifully now you see I'm not happy with that finish there so I'm going to just lift this slightly just need to make sure I'm in short and pull it down and there we go so now I'm going to take my bone folder and just burnish all those edges so that it makes a really good connection so that's the one done then I'm going to do the other side so I'm going to put this two together just to make sure I've got the two right sides together okay and we do the same thing so we're only doing three sides because this is where the spine is going to come here we go that's where the spine will come over there okay let me just get back into shot again so this is the second side of our cover
and this tape is available from my store I'm happy to ship out to you if you um, if you're not in Cape Town but I promise you it will change the way you you put your books together okay so we've got our we've got our three sides covered and you need a really good sharp scissors for this otherwise it's going to be sticking preferably non-stick we're snipping into the corners Oops. and I'm gonna be snipping both now because you know what to do and the one side I'm pushing it down pushing the other side down mitering the two corners Sorry, I went out of shot there for a bit, but it's quite hard to actually do this when it's so far away from me. Okay, and there we go. So these two sides, I'm just going to clean up there. It's gone a little bit skew. going to clean up that side and there we go so I either use to assemble my covers to my spine I either use a craft mat that has uh, measurements on it or my scoreboard and so you'll see these that this one let me just see if I'm in shot. This one is here on six and a quarter, and I always leave a quarter inch gap between the spine and the um, and the cover. And what I'm going to do is, I hope I can do this without standing. I always stand and grow. Is you just cover that piece, okay? I lift it, flip it over, pull this tight. I'm pulling it quite tight so that there's a nice even gap there. I'm going to turn it because it's easier for me to do it that way. You can decide whether you're right or left-handed, which one works for you. And then we pull that tight. And I tend to cut this off slightly below because I normally leave like a quarter inch margin and I just make sure that this is not visible once I put my pattern paper down okay and we burnish that well and now the other side so I just put that down there it doesn't matter which line you use as long as you know that you need a quarter inch um, a quarter inch gap in between your spine and your cover so we're going to do the other side side tight turn it pull this in line I've gone really skew there but it will be okay and cut and there we go 
that's the cover done and what I normally do for the raw edges on that side and the reason why um, clear covers hers is this automatically gives you a finished edge on your album and it's really nice because now you don't have to chalk it um, let me just see if I'm sure you don't have to chalk it you don't have to paint it this gives oops this gives a beautiful finish to your um, to your cover so there that side's done and I'm just gonna cut another piece on the other side and that's the cover finished so there we go all done The next step is to actually add your um, your pages to the oops you add your pages to the cover so this cover is so flexible you can use it you can use it either way you can decide which way you want to use it so it's a very flexible cover it lies flat it's durable and I see I made a little booby here but I'll just over there I cut too much off um but i'll just put some ink or paint on there okay the next step is to add your your pages now remember this was a six and a half by six inch page we scored on the half inch so that is where i applied my tape and i really hope i can do this without standing because i normally stand and craft so I aligned this if I can just see so this is where the edge of my spine is right there and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna see if I can do this like this um, you place this right on the edge of your spine and you need to I do have to stand for this because otherwise I'm going to go skew. Okay, so if I'm still in shot, let me just explain to you what I'm doing. So there's the edge of my spine. I'm going to place this directly on that edge, but you need to make sure that you've got an even gap there and there. I just eyeball it, but if you want to be pedantic about it and you want to make sure that it's perfectly even, you can do that okay so that's your one page in burnish page number two okay i want to show you this trick i do okay so page number two needs to lie directly next to page number one but what i normally do is i close up this page just to make sure that my pages are aligned you'll see if you stick skew then your um, your albums going to be skew so you need to make sure that these pages are perfectly aligned okay so I think I'm good and what I do is I just peel off I peel off a small piece and I I fold it so that the, it sticks out at the top and then I I put it down make sure that they are even aligned do a quick check that's okay then you pull out that piece and you can commit okay so that's page number two page number three
Okay, so my battery died while I was putting um, the pages into the into the cover. So I've done the five pages. Sorry about that. So you missed the last two pages, but basically this is what it looks like when your five pages are in. So we've got the five pages. And as I explained to you, we've got these half inch gaps in between each page, which allows for you to add flaps, you can add pockets, you can add belly bands, etc. And the, this is what it looks like from the top. And because you've got the, um, the outside covered, once you place your pattern paper onto the cover, that's it. You are done. Um, I just want to see if I can show you. So I've got a piece of pattern paper here. This is from the new Celebrate um, Letters to My Love collection. So if you can see, you place your pattern paper down and you've got this beautiful um, black edge. Now this tape also comes in like a creamy white color. I prefer black. I work with mostly black or craft. Um, and what I, I have done with the cream is I've actually inked it with my with my distress inks. So there are two options available, but my personal preference is always black. Um, yeah, and that is the quick and easy mini album using the Kanye Crafts construction tape and if you are keen to lay your hands on some of them you are welcome to get hold of me um, I love this binding method it just it just works your book lies beautifully flat and if you once you get used to and you um, become more proficient at putting the tape on it just literally takes minutes to put a book together and i think that's fabulous so if you have any questions you're welcome to find me on facebook or you can um, find me on instagram i am crafty gal i mark all my photographs and things on on facebook with my with my Instagram name um, or you're welcome to WhatsApp me I'm very happy to help and um, that's it from me I hope this has been beneficial and and I hope if you do decide to make a little mini album using this method please tag me I'd love to see what you guys get up to thank you so much for watching until next time see you in cyberspace bye now